What's up guys, your fellow reefer here, my name is Anthony and today we have a pretty cool update for you guys. We have the 25 gallon Innova Marine Lagoon Tank. So here is the 25 gallon Lagoon. I absolutely love it and the glass, the whole design of this tank is awesome. I never had an all-in-one tank so I'm really excited for that. I uh, just have a couple of ideas I saw on YouTube, you know, you're always looking up your new tank and you know who has different ideas for their filtration system. I see people have skimmers, some people have reactors and that's great. Uh, this is going to be an LPS only tank. Uh, so only pretty much soft corals, frog spawns, mushrooms, zoas, etc. And I'm probably going to only have two fish in here, which will be two new clownfish. And I don't really think I'm going to have a skimmer on the back, so that eliminates the skimmer. I also really don't want to have a reactor as well. I want to eliminate this. I want to make this tank as easy as possible. I never had a nano tank before, so it's my first. Normally I have uh, the 120 gallon, I've had you know 75, 135, always bigger, larger tanks. So going down to a 25 gallon is gonna be very interesting. I cannot wait. I do have some ideas for my filtration system um, and some upgrades that I do want to do next. So with these actual return nozzles here, um, I like them how they can you can move them around. You know, which uh, you know, could change the flow a little bit, but I do want to change these guys to like kind of the random flow generator. I think they're 20 bucks each, so it's not too bad. I want to change these, and that's maybe the first upgrade. You also can upgrade your filter socks uh, that come with it. They're really small, obviously, for a small tank, uh, but I'm actually not going to upgrade these. I'm going to keep them the way they are. But what I am going to do is I'm a big fan of the filter pads. And I'm gonna actually take this filter pad and I'm just going to stick it. I cut them out this way, just stick it right on top there. So when it flows, it automatically goes and catches the larger gunk first, larger debris, and then it'll act the water will flow into the actual uh, sock itself and catch anything smaller. So it's gonna be a double form of filtration there. So it's gonna go onto the floss first then go into the actual sock obviously I have to have a heater in there uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in the second compartment um, because the water flows in and out and around so I'm probably gonna do some uh, definitely some carbon uh, you know it's a and B they're both the same so both sides are you know one they're duplicates so I'll probably have carbon on one side and I might have like phosphor or GFO on the other because they're both going in the same way and coming out the same way. You can see I did put some other pads over here in the middle area. That's because the water, when it flows down into here and goes up, it's going to go up and over uh, this little bracket right here and go into the final stage, which is the return area, also where my uh, heater will most likely be as well. But I just want to make sure that just super clear water. I want nothing but the best. Um, so I put another set of pads there which are really easy you can just move it take it out and there you go so that's gonna be that uh, with the heater inside there I just really want to make it as simple as possible and that's what I'm gonna achieve so I might buy the um, brackets where I can actually make the GFO and uh, you know the carbon the phosphor whatever uh, you maybe even some purage in here as well uh, you know separate them nice and easy, but We'll see you might do some DIY stuff the lights are coming in hopefully this week So I'm excited for you guys to see the lights that I chose for this tank uh, I think you guys are gonna like them and you're gonna see why I chose these lights Like I said, I want, I want to show everybody that this tank could really be simple and easy And you could really get into this hobby without spending a crazy amount of money Without overwhelming yourself and just still have a successful beautiful reef tank. So um, that's the first episode of the 25 gallon lagoon if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up also make sure you subscribe and hit the bell on the right side there that way you get more notifications when I, a new video comes out for this tank uh, I'm definitely gonna be going over every single step on this new build I haven't done a new build in a long time uh, so you know 
sit back, relax, get ready to enjoy some videos on this tank, and I'm excited to see where this thing's gonna go. So, next video will be on the lights. Thanks for watching this episode, guys. My name is Anthony. It's your fellow reefer. Take care.